Um, my job at Hirschvogel is I'm responsible for making dies and various tools in our die shop. Um, a die is essentially a negative mold of a part. Parts are formed inside of these tools. Um, one good example would be a pinion shaft in a car, which is actually a, a component of the transmission or a component of a rear end that is a driven gear. And that part is forced into a die and various punches come in and make this tool and then it is ejected out. For, for anyone looking to get into the machining trade in order to be hired by a company, um, usually they're looking for some type of technical school training or um, college. Associate's degrees, you can't enter into the field with just a high school diploma, but it's, it's much more difficult without some sort of past experience. The training at Hirschvogel consists of being placed with an experienced machinist. Um, and you learn his day-to-day -day job duties, his or her day-to-day -day job duties, and they teach you the various skills that you'll need to know in order to perform that job. My goals for myself at this point, I, I you know, wish to further my technical knowledge more, even within the die shop, and also further my knowledge about the company overall, as far as their processes, not only in the United States, but also you know, in other Hirschvogel plants around the world. We send many people from all various departments of the company to Germany for training, not only in their job, but also to experience the culture and um, you know, further their skills more so there. Technology is involved in most all machining processes. The, most of the machines we use in our die shop are CNC machines or computer numerical controlled machines. Um, the CNC machine that I run is a CNC lathe. Um, we program this machine to turn dies. Um, that involves taking a blueprint, reading and understanding what is on that print, and then programming the machine to perform those steps in the order that I choose. My typical job flow in the die shop consists of receiving parts back from a heat treat process where they're already hardened. Um, then I will evaluate the part, look at the blueprints, and then determine what needs to be done to that part. I will then program the CNC machine to produce the part correctly, select my tooling, and process the part through hard turning and on to operations after that.